Hi there, it's me again, your friendly neighborhood hum humble stroke salter with recently combed hair, so my father cannot complain. So dad, don't text, call, write, email, passenger pigeon, carrier pigeon, you know, <clears throat> that I don't have organized hair. So let's talk about the state of the channel. So I've got some new subscribers. Uh, Joy Bradford, thank you for joining. Uh, I know I don't know you personally. Um, I also have... Uh, Shirley006, and there's a couple in there as well. Um, now, one of my subscribers, Ashley, you asked, can I share your content? Well, I'll say this. Anyone in the world can share any of my content with anyone under just a couple simple considerations. And I'm not going to say they're conditions because they're considerations. One, if you're going to share an entire video, great, I don't care. Because right? anything in that video can't be taken out of context. Because each of these videos, they don't interrelate except the common theme of, I had a stroke. <clears throat> so, any video in its entirety, please share with anyone that you think would get benefit out of it. Uh, be they someone who's had a stroke themselves. Someone that's had a brain injury. Um, be it acquired traumatic, whatever. Um, someone who's assisting or supporting someone going through their post-stroke or brain injury journey. Right? Um... You know, or anyone else that might need a bit bit of education. Uh, two, uh, if you're going to take a portion of one of my videos out, like in the form of a quote, please put the link to the original video in your video so someone can find the actual video <clears throat> that you're taking my stuff from. And then secondly, don't take me out of context. Don't just take a quick 15 seconds just to capture the 20 words you want to hear me say so I can be taken out of context. Because um, <clears throat> I realize some of the videos are 15, 20, 25 minutes long. And one sentence that occurs, you know, three minutes into the video may not have been completely fleshed out as a fully formed uh, and expressed thought, right? So please, don't just don't take me out of context. But actually, in answer to your question... Yes, go ahead and share to your heart's content. Anyone else that feels the need to share any of my content for educational purposes or informational purposes um, to, you know, maybe give your friends and family a bit of an informational kick in the ass because <clears throat> they're not sure how to relate to you post-stroke or brain injury, feel free, share away. Uh, second note, a little bit of housekeeping. Um, 17 days from today, I go back to work. So I won't be able to do the same numbers of videos uh, because right now I've, I've been off work for six months. So in 17 days, I go back to work. And it'll be the 28th of December. <clears throat> so that's going to change things a little bit. Hopefully by then I can afford a better camera. So it'll be better video quality. Um, and then I can afford um, an editing program. Because the freeware, I just can't seem to get my mind around it. So I'm hoping if I buy one, um, I'll be able to edit and make this a bit more polished. Um, but the advantage is I'll be able to, to share um, some of my post-stroke stumbles, travels, you know, and, and that, what that journey looks like. Because I realize for those of us that are under 50 and had a stroke, it's pretty significant, right? Like the returning to work piece is, I'm going to be honest, probably the most important obstacle you're going to have to encounter, right? Getting out of the hospital. That's eventually a foregone conclusion. Eventually they will let you out. Um, do they let you out to a re rehab recovery facility or do, do you happen to come home? Again, that, that's individual as to what those timelines and guidelines will look like. Uh, but... The returning to work piece and and I'll, I'll share some of that journey as best I can <clears throat> I am gonna make a video about return to work planning uh, I'm just gonna have a caveat now and I'll put it at the video when I do it my return to work planning video is going to be best practices and generalities it will have nothing specifically to do with my employer nothing specifically to do with my return to work plan nothing specific to do with how um, my return to work plan was developed between me, my employer, my insurance company, other professionals in my life, right? Uh, 
you know, so I'm, I'm not going to, I'm never going to speak in the specifics um, in regards to the relationship I have with my employer and, and how that's progressing, because that just wouldn't be appropriate. Um, uh, but what I will do is I will have a discussion in, in generalities as what return to work planning should and needs to look like, right? What you can do on several sides of that coin. What can you do as someone who's had a stroke versus what can you do as someone who's supporting someone with a stroke and, and what can your employer do uh, to make that journey easier, right? So there will be some changes in the channel upcoming, um, hopefully for the better. Once I learn to edit, um, definitely these will be more polished once I get a better camera. Because right now, I'll be honest, I just, I'm using my laptop, right? With the exception of um, new normal meets old normal, that was done on my cell phone my mobile and the very first video again was also done on my mobile so other than the videos that you see only two were done on my mobile the remainder were done on my laptop um, also Christmas is coming up in 13 days so there might be less videos over this period of time um, so it all depends right uh, I might be able to get some videos squeezed off in in regards to that, I, I don't know yet, but we'll see what that looks like. So, again, this channel was initially started to help um, my friends and family that don't get the chance to regularly see me, to be able to see what my progress looks like. Uh, part of it is a vlog, um, sort of how my progress is, is, is moving along. Um, some of the stumbles I have, some of the difficulties I've had in, in the form of that, that vlog. It's also sort of turned into an educational resource, um, partly because I haven't found, in, in some cases, information, documentation about some of the struggles I've had. Um, so I figure if I can't find the documentation, uh, and I have experience working with brain injury clients, uh, now I is one. Um, you know, it's other people can't find the documentation. And, and if you can't find it and I can't find it, if while well, you're doing your initial research on how to, you know, navigate your post-stroke world, if I can find it and do a video on it to help you understand it, help explain it to your friends and family, right? Um, and I, I've gotten some really great feedback from people that are post-stroke. Um, I did a couple of videos about post-stroke depression and, and, and other things and post-stroke fatigue. And I've had excellent feedback from people that either uh, have become a subscriber or have simply stumbled across the videos and, and said, hey, no one told me this was a thing. I didn't even know this was a thing. And, and you've answered so many questions with just a 15-minute video. And you know what? For those people who have had questions about either their post-stroke world or a loved one's post-stroke world, and I've been able to provide a little bit of insight, a little bit of information, and, and, and let you know that it's just normal, right? Uh, Thank you. That's all I have to say. Um, and I, I appreciate um, that eventually this channel will eventually morph from my post-stroke journey because the immediacy of it at some point will be over. Uh, however, it's my intention to continue doing uh, content based on post-stroke, brain injury, uh, recovery, rehab, reintegration, uh, topics. Now that being said, eventually I'm going to run out of things to say. So on that note, you can reach me directly at strokeassaulter at gmail.com and I'm going to go through and update all my videos. So that link is, is in the description. If you want to email me directly at strokeassaulter at gmail.com, please email me. Um, one condition if you don't tell me, do not identify me, you can't use my picture, I wish to stay anonymous, I'm going to assume it is okay to publicly disclose who you are if I feel that is germane to the purposes of the conversation. Um, so if you don't say, hey, don't don't say who I am, right? I don't want to mention who I am, you know, just can you answer a question for me? Then I'm going to, if I feel it's appropriate, or I just want to give you the... Um, the acknowledgement, hey, I got an email from Mike from Canmore. Him and his dog, Norm, have a question. Let's see how many people get that reference. Um, so, 
if you do ask for anonymity, I will do everything I can to respect that, and I will not disclose your name. I won't disclose any geographic identifiers, so that way no one will have a reference it could have been you. And right now I'm at 46 subscribers, right? Um, again, this channel was not created for clicks, likes, and views, right? That's, that's not really the purpose behind it. Um, I know I've done three or four, well, I've done four, four response videos um, in regards to content of other YouTubers and things they've said that I have extreme difficulty with. Um, and again, this channel was never meant to be a response or debunking channel, uh, much like a Miles Powers or a Jeff Holiday or, or, or similar content. Um, it just, they said things on the internet that pissed me off, right? Absolutely just, I was befuddled by their claims and, and their descriptions of their world. And it's like, no, it doesn't work that way. That will not be my normal content. However, that might pop up from time to time. In the next couple of days, I'm going to take the time to organize the 100 plus videos into various playlists. Um, I'm going to continue on with the Letter of the Day series. <clears throat> right. um, in fact, I'm thinking of doing R, right? Um, I haven't figured out how yet, but I'm thinking of doing R. I've got a couple ideas there. Um, and then, as the channel morphs into me going back to work and the content will become less often, um, I'm still going to try to push out two to three videos a week, 15 minutes-ish. Um, I don't ever anticipate to do another hour-long video like I did on the two numpties from the land down under. Uh, but again, if there's topics you want to see me cover information that you're not sure about yourself, um, or if you want to see me do a video because, you know, you just want something to validate sort of your experience, um, I, I can do that. Right. Along now, I will only do uh, videos based on subscriber or viewer suggestions. Um, if you email me at strokeassalter at gmail.com, right, uh, indicate if you are a stroke folk or a brain injury folk, or you're the supporter or you, the yeomanry therein, um, uh, and what topic you want to see covered. If it's not germane or immediately attributable to mental health, brain injury, stroke, brain injury recovery, stroke recovery, the rehabilitation after brain injury or stroke, if it doesn't sort of fit into the bailiwick of this channel, I'll send you an email back going, yeah, maybe not. Right? Uh, if it's something that sort of strikes my fancy, um, definitely, I'll, I'll, I'll cover it. If, it's, if it fits within the bailiwick of the channel, definitely, I'll cover it. Um, but basically the state of the channel to date. Uh, eventually I'm going to look at my analytics because I haven't really done that in a while. Because again, I'm not really concerned about, in some cases, driving my content to engage the analytics. I, I realize which of my videos are the most watched. And I realize that those videos, in some cases, don't particularly mesh well with the core concept behind the channel. But and that being said, I have considered creating a second channel, um, mainly to deal with Airsoft, because I play Airsoft, and I've been considering making uh, a second channel that will, mm, that's what I'm looking for, cover things in the Airsoft community, uh, you know, doing Milsim games, uh, how to prep your kit, you know, things like that, but that that's something in the future. Uh, right now it's winter here in Canada and we don't play in the snow um, because it's bad. Yeah, not a good time. Um, on that note, if there is something again you want to see me cover, um, you can either email me directly at strokeassalter at gmail.com or you can leave a comment down below. Uh, if you have liked what you've been watching and you're not a subscriber, please hit the like and subscribe. Uh, if you want immediate notification of when a video is released, you hit the little bell button. Uh, and <clears throat> if for five and a half months you've been watching videos and you're not enjoying them, you need to find a new hobby. Right? 
Like, for example, we're currently 14 minutes and 55 seconds into a video. And if you've been dreading the last 14 minutes and, you know, 55 seconds, you might have want to consider that you could have wasted your time doing something else. So that being said, I'm going to step off, uh, you know, this little soapbox and, and land the plane. But I thought I'd let everybody know what's going on with the channel. I'd like to thank my current subscribers, um, all the people that have taken time out of their days to uh, watch any of my content. Uh, and if you happen to know someone who's currently going through their own post-stroke journey or even a post-brain injury journey, please share the channel with them. Get them to like and subscribe. Uh, they may get some benefit out of the content. If you know someone that's supporting someone going through their own post-stroke journey as they salt, uh, salt through the difficulties and the obstacles of their stroke to get to the objective to find their new normal, please like, share, subscribe to the channel with them. Again, there's content that they might happen to get out of this that they may enjoy and find useful. And if you happen to notice either in yourself or someone around you the signs or symptoms of a stroke, such as you immediately appear uh, befuddled, confused, you're not sure what's going on, uh, you immediately have rapid on onset vision problems, Some, so, something's going on with your eyes, um, you can't move your eyes up and down, you can't move your eyes left and right, you, uh, you see in grayscale, you can't see out of one eye, um, suddenly you've got facial droop, you can't raise both arms equally effectively or at all, you can't smile equally effectively or at all. Um, you have rapid onset speech difficulties, you're slurring your words, you're stuttering your speech, you can't form words, you're using inappropriate words for situation or context, you have general body weakness, weakness on one side, you can't stand unaided, you can't maintain your own body weight, please immediately place that person in a position of comfort. If you're in North America, dial 911, and if you're in the UK, dial 999, it might save a life, right? And again, for those of you that have subscribed and you've joined our Merry Little Band of Stroke folks, thank you ever so much. And, you know, please just take care of each other, and I'll see you during the next video.